What up, folks? It's been a good little while since I made a video, but I'm back at it. I got some spare time now. Now, what I want to showcase real quick is a play from Madden that will showcase the game setting that Versus has designed for better gameplay. Now I will say I've only played a couple series, but from what I've noticed, it's definitely giving you a better gameplay experience by far. Alright, and like he said, it won't make the game perfect, but I, I promise you, you will see better, more realistic gameplay, the best that Madden can offer. You know, we all know that 2K Sports has a better game engine, you know, we all know that. But let's just let's just keep it real. You know, 2K Sports is in the past. You know, it's fun to go back and play it. But every now and then, you do want to play with real NFL teams. So, once again, this video will showcase settings that Versus has recommended for us all to try. And I back him 100%. I recommend you try these settings as well. Let me just get to the video. One time at regular speed. Okay, that looks like a regular play. Let's break it down. First of all, take a look at the line. The line is blocking very well. Look at the recognition. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the game, the gameplay on the line. Take a look at how they are pass blocking. Look at number 79 there. Right here. He's looking for someone to block. Once he notices that Willie Colon has gotten beat, he picks up the block. And one thing I like to share there is no motion shifting, which is <laughs> something you rarely see in Madden. There's no motion shifting. Now, like Versa said, it doesn't eliminate everything, but I have noticed you know, a lot less motion shifting. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this guy. This proves on these settings, this guy here, I believe that's Donald Darkett. Donnell Darkett. This proves that the computer is trying to play. Even though, you know, the base setting is on pro, they're trying to win. Look at the fight on the line. Puts his hands up. Unfortunately, he's a little too late. Now, let's go over to the main focus of the, of the um, whole video here. All right, I'm going to put it on this guy. Look at how this linebacker defends this route. He tries to press. Mike Wallace beats the press. Look at this right here. This is something you rarely see in Madden. He realizes that he's beat. Turns around, there's no shift. He has the plant there. He's watching Mike Wallace the whole time. He's trying to run the route. Now, this is very important. Notice how Mike Wallace breaks and is into his route right here. The linebacker here, which is, I believe his name is O'Keefer. Oh, sorry for that shake there. He, at this moment, does not know what the route is. And as we all know, if you're playing on all Madden or if you haven't adjusted the settings, a lot of times the defender will run the identical route and they will jump the route. In this instance, O'Keefer does not recognize what route it is until Mike Wallace has made his cut. So then he attempts to follow the best he can. As we all know, Mike Wallace is a speed guy. I know that definitely. As you all know by now, I'm a Steelers fan. He's a speed guy. So there's no possible way that this linebacker will keep up with it. Look at the speed difference here. And that's what it's supposed to be. Makes an adjustment to the ball, which, you know, I'm not really crazy about this animation. But hey, what are we going to do? 
But notice, when I threw the ball, I angled it to the left a little too much. What I also like about this is the ball didn't shift to meet my receiver. The receiver had to make an adjustment. He makes a catch, tries to turn up, steps out of bounds. Now, also, let's take a look at the play of this cornerback here. Let's turn it this way so you can see. This is McFadden, former Steeler. Okay. He's playing Hans Ward straight up. Back pedal. Back pedal. I don't really know what he's looking at there. He's looking to the... I don't know exactly what he's looking at. He's not looking at Hans Ward, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, he's backpedaling the whole time. Let's, actually, let's do it from this angle. Sorry for all the rotation, guys. I haven't been on Madden in a while. Okay, he's playing the backpedal. Now, watch what he does the moment he notices that, notices that Ben Roethlisberger has passed to the short route. You see that? Now, again, the animation, I don't know if I call this an animation, but the fact that he's not really looking at the play, it's kind of strange as far as his head. Um, player, I guess that's player detection or awareness. But it played out realistic. Once he noticed that the ball was going to this guy, he breaks his coverage, and he comes up to help out. All right, now I think there were some other examples on the other side here. Don't want to make this too long. Okay, let's look at this. If you all can see that. Notice how all of the defenders are backpedaling. They're all playing their coverage, zone coverage. Let's go over here real quick. Look at the speed difference here. Santonio San Holmes against Clark Hagen. Santonio San is going to win that battle every time. Look at it from this view. Tries to jam. A little bit of jostling there. And he's staying with him the best he can. That is what's supposed to happen when you put San Antonio Holmes against a linebacker in coverage. Now, in reality, I probably should have threw the ball to Heath Miller because he's wide open. <laughs> but just a real quick showcase on how the game plays are looking a little more realistic with the preferred settings given by Versus. Um, I don't have time to tell you the exact settings, but please visit his channel. If you don't know who I'm referring to, you just look up Versus 2. And I believe he spells it V-E-R-S-U-Z and the number 2. And check out his video. He just put it up a couple of hours ago that is showcasing the new slider settings that he's recommended. All right, guys? Let me know what you think.